All right, thank you, Tony. Now a natural escape. An old industrial site in one Massachusetts town is undergoing a total transformation. Soon it will be a peaceful sanctuary for people of all ages to enjoy. Iowa to Sue supporter Andrew Adamson is in the newsroom now with the details that are new at 530. When you picture a sawmill, you may think of a noisy industrial site, but one local group is trying to alter that image by creating a peaceful place that nature lovers can enjoy. It's a blast from the past for restoration ecologist Sarah Quintal, flipping through pictures of what the Akushnet sawmill used to look like. You're seeing the area that we're taking out the pavement and are going to be expanding those fields and woods. A total transformation is now taking place at this old industrial site. Quintal is a part of the Buzzards Bay Coalition that purchased this 20-acre property back in 2007 in order to turn it into an outdoor hiking and nature area. The coalition purchased this property in order to protect it from further development, restore its natural resources, and then open it up to the public so the whole community can enjoy it. And now they're well on their way to making that happen. After two years of work, crews are expected to wrap up deconstruction over the winter. Because it had all the buildings and all the pavement, it actually involved a lot of work to, tr to transform this site back to its natural state. But there's a lot of benefits for that, both for uh, the environment and for, for the people in the community around here. Soon folks will be able to enjoy walking trails, bird observation, decks and even a canoe launch located just miles from New Bedford the coalition sees this as a natural escape that would give people the opportunity to easily get away from the city and outside into nature the coalition tells me that the goal is to have the accushioned sawmill open to the public by the summer in the newsroom Andrew Adamson eyewitness news